Hey boys, what's going on? It is I just Rengar here, and today I'm coming at you with game five of Unranked to Diamond. Uh, this game we're going to be heading down. Looks like we're going to go for an invade, which is always going to be spicy, especially with the Lux. Um, this team that they're uh, that they have actually kind of counters me a little bit. Oh, I wish Lux was in this bush. That make life so much easier. I think she's just kind of like AFK, maybe. I don't know. Right, maybe we can head this way. This is actually my first game playing on uh playing on this side. So let's see how this one goes. Wait, I think it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm dumb. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that it is, though. Let's see if somebody's over here. Yeah. She should have came this way, because if she comes this way, she can queue him, and then it's guaranteed. We can fight for this and take it. Oh my gosh, I walked into it. Unlucky. Take it. Come on, boys. We can fight for this. Easy. I wish that Garen was uh, at my red warding it. That's what a higher elo Garen would do. Um, or a higher elo top in general would do. TY. I want to start fighting this next camp as fast as possible. Now I'm coming over here. Since it's lower elo, people don't tend to notice you as much when you do stuff like this. Nice. So we get first blood, we get a double kill. And we're able to just keep pushing. Because I did show bottom, uh, there's a possibility Kane will be like, okay, so he's bottom. He, I can take his uh, entire top side, which is what I would do. Uh, that'd be a really smart move if he did do that. Um, but there's also a possibility that he didn't even take anything at all. Uh, that's a lot less likely a lot of people kind of can put together okay if he's there then he can't be here so i can take this for free uh, but there are some people that are like uh, a little bit fearful of that when you're counter jungling you don't want to be fearful of that at all okay if you see the enemy like bot lane say okay i have uh, 25 seconds of guaranteed no enemy jungler what can i do in this 25 seconds um is there also more stuff that i can abuse that would take longer than 25 seconds uh in this case which should i do first should i go for golems first or should i go for chickens first well, the odds are the enemy Rengar will go for Golems first because he's been efficiently clearing all game. We know that he's going to try to efficiently clear again, most likely. So what can we make f uh, make out of this? Okay, so he's probably going to be going for uh, Golems first. Okay, so yeah, he took this like I said that he would. He took this like I said that he would. Um, but did he take this? No. Okay, so that's, an, that's a mistake that a lot of people will make. Um, and you'll see this a lot in pretty much every elo, even my own. Um, and sometimes it's not a mistake, but he wasn't able to really get anything off of it. Like, yes, he's shown on the map, but he didn't get a successful gank off. Um, so instead of doing that unsuccessful gank, he could have actually just, um, just double Wing. This doesn't really matter. He could have actually just, uh, cleared. He should have backed, is what he should have done. Um, I wish that I could stay safely. I don't think I can stay safely. But I can try to stay, just for the XP. Oh my god. Oh, ah, 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 I'm tilted! Oh my gosh, I'm tilted! I'm tilted! Oh, I'm so bad. It's my new monitor, dude. Uh, my new monitor just wrecked me, dude. Oh my, I'm lucky. I, I swear it was the new monitor. That's what it was. I'm tilted, we need. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. That was so bad. Okay, I can actually literally just walk down here. Okay. Uh, that that kind of made up for it. You're unstoppable, by the way. Garen should theoretically be able to just kill me. I mean Darius. Wait, never mind, not now. Not anymore. Nice, okay, I'm able to pick him up. Sadly I haven't been able to do too much counter jungling, but uh that's alright. That's not too too bad. Oh, I really badly want to go on her, but I also really badly want to get another uh, free whatchamacallit? A free uh serrated dirk. I'll take a free Dirk. Can 
I get out of that fast enough? Nope, I'm lucky. I can run over here, though. Uh, and this will be a little unexpected, I think. Yep. And we deal a ton of damage now. Oh, sadly, we're not able to get anything else onto him. I was going to say, that would have been clean. Wait, we can ulti and kill him. If we get hit by the turret shot, we W out. Get up a little faster. Alright, we burned both of her um, major combat abilities. Oh, unlucky, dude. Uh, we played that a little better. I think we could have survived there. That was kind of stupid, though. I, I knew that it was kind of dumb. I was like, eh, I don't know if it's a good idea, but then I went for it anyways. I'm just going to get another CS there before I go in. I'm basically just holding out for my... Uh... Nice. I rolled to pick him out. That was smart by him. Oof. I missed it. Why does she think she can kill me? He went off, my dude. Sats that it provides. Like, the amount of, like, DPS you can deal. Like, right now I can actually, like, one out of this guy. Dark Harvest damage. Alright, but GG, well played. Well played. It's a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll go to the next game now. Hey guys, what is going on? It is I, just Rengar here, and today I am reviewing game 6 of my Unranked Diamond series, because I actually just accidentally deleted it. So, uh, I'm gonna really quickly just go through this game. Now I kind of talk over each little thing that happens, um, and then show you guys what's going on, why I'm doing it. So here, we're going to invade. We're just doing that because invades as Rengar are always going to be really good. Uh, you deal a lot of damage early, you're really strong, so... We start moving over here, and we actually don't see that they're in here, but... There's a whole group of them, so we jump, and then, oh gosh, there's a huge group. I jump there, and then I flash just to make 100% sure that I'm going to live. Um, in hindsight, I didn't need to flash. My team MIA'd me. Um, <laughs> they're like, why'd you flash? I'm like, eh, I just want to make sure, guys. But, um, even though they had no Ignite, which I didn't realize. So, but here, basically, that's all that really happened. So when we get done from our standard level 4 and 3 minutes clear, we see that the uh, cane is actually right over here. So what do we do? Of course, we run over and we try to fight him as soon as possible. So, uh, right here, we see that the um, Rise is over here. We also see that Ari's roaming. Because Ari's roaming, we know that we can go in. So, we head in. I use double W after the Kane's W hits me. That way I heal for a little bit more. And then I jump here. Now, you know that Rise's Q is on a really short cooldown. So he's going to probably try to use it as soon as it's off. So right here, instead of just staying here and trying to auto, I run over it towards the bush. For one, it gets me into the bush. For two, it jukes out his Q. Okay? So here I'm able to get into the bush. And then I can jump on him for the kill. Okay? So keep that in mind. Um, always try to make these plays. So two things happen there. For one... I make it so Kane is really low, so it's going to be difficult for him to clear the rest of his jungle. Um, and if he does end up clearing the rest, it's hard for him to uh, gank. Um, for two, we kill Rise and give Ari free lane pressure mid, so that we so that way she can snowball later. Okay, so those are the two things to note from that. At this point in the game, we start heading bot lane. The reason why is because I know okay, so Kane, he cleared his top side. He didn't clear his bot side, so that means he. That means he's going to be bot side or clearing his bot side right now. So, knowing this, I go down towards here, and boom, I find him. So, since I find him, I head over, and I just try to kill him, and I miss my Q, but I do end up taking him down. And then that's just kind of... And he's pinging his team right now. He's spamming him. Um, and that's just kind of knowing what's happening, and kind of uh, knowing the limits of your champion playing to them. So then right here, I see that mid is pushed up a little bit. I know that he used flash earlier, so I had mid, and boom, free kill. And then instantly, 3-0. So that's really, really, really easy. All of these kills have basically been handed to me, okay? I haven't had to, like, gank or, like, work hard. Uh, we'll do any, like, fancy mechanics ganking. I've literally just been being in the right place at the right time. That's all it was down here. Uh, that's most of what it was over here. Some of it was fancy footwork. Um, and then over here, that was just being in the right place. This was just running over and knowing that the flash is down and being in the right place uh, as far as that goes. So, let's head back over here. Uh, and then here, I'm just going to be clearing. I always use Empowered E on this because it gives it uh, reduced damage. Uh, or, it gives it increased damage. And then right here, Udir is pushed up. What can I do? Gank top lane. So, I see Udir. He's right there. I uh, W and then run backwards. That way, he can't get the heal on me. And then I just jump on him. 
But right here, already my team is absolutely popping off. That's for two reasons. For one, we enabled Ari uh, to be successful by shutting down the Rise. Um, and for two, it's because we shut down the enemy jungler, who's now level 5, while I am level 7. Um, which is huge. Like, that's so huge. Okay, his red's up. Let's go over there. So I head over this way, and I'm like, okay, let's go get his red. I see him. I just do a little bit of poke. Uh, I lay down my uh, empowered E because I don't want him to ulti on me. Um, so I take this. Now here's where it gets spicy. So I land my E. I miss the second portion of my Q. Watch this. Look. So I see him start heading out. I thought that as soon as he starts heading out, that means that he's like out for sure. Uh, I didn't realize that it meant that he pops out in a second. So my plan was to flash over after he popped out and then hop back onto him. Um, but it didn't work out like that, and I made a misplay and then died for it. So, unlucky by me, I pretty much ended. I had, t like, 2,500 gold on me, uh, and I died. You don't want to die with that much gold on you. Uh, and then I know that I'm almost level 9, so I'm trying to get level 9 right now. I'm like, can I get level 9? I'm like, uh, I'm still, like, literally at, like, 99% to level 9. Then I finally get it. And then here, I jump on her first, because I want to be able to bait out her, uh, her R. She doesn't even end up being able to use R in time. I W. Uh, and then right here, I'm running over. I know that I just procced. For the second that I was here before this hit, I procced Dustblade. So I'm, like, watching the timer right there. I know it's about to go. She autos me, and I know that since I still have Dustblade, even though it's not showing right now, I, I can jump. So I jump E, <coughs> and then I'm able to just auto-attack her and survive. I actually went for a uh, IE. Now, the reason why, not because it's troll, but because if you look, the three people that I'm going to be mostly targeting don't have any armor right now. Um, and he has, like, ne negligible armor. So I know that I don't really need to build Lethality as much. Um, and instead I could go for IE if I wanted to. So, I just one auto attack her, then I one auto attack her, uh, I literally hit zero abilities on any of them, um, and then here Ari is typing, like, what just happened? Okay, so I head back now, and we end the game. So, thank you all so much for watching this video, I'm sorry that this isn't a live game, uh, but we'll be right in that tomorrow. Hey guys, what's going on? I just run guard here, or, uh, little jump, yeah. Lil jump, yeah, no, just kidding, boys. Uh, but yeah, so today I'm gonna just really quickly go over the um, login screen, what I'm gonna plan to do. That way I can kind of share it with you guys. I've had a couple requests for that. Uh, sadly, I already recorded episode two, so this is gonna be in episode three. So uh, for this game, I'm looking at an Evelyn jungle, so I want to shut her down before before she hits six and she can do well. I'm looking at Alawi versus Vladimir, uh, which I want to do really well against. Uh, shutting down the Vlad, because once he hits, uh, like, level 3, he can be really slippery. So, it's going to be hard for me to shut him down, but I want to try to shut him down, because he can probably uh, poke a Lowie out. Um, so, if I can gank there, if he's hyper-extended, I'll gank there. Uh, bot lane, uh, Pantheon Twitch versus Thresh Tristana. It's going to be really hard for me to gank a Thresh Tristana, unless they're pushed up, um, even though Pantheon does have a guaranteed stun. So, I'm going to try to gank... Uh... Oh, wow, that's actually a fast, uh, fast game. Or a fast load. Um... So I'm going to try to gank bot if I can. Uh, these two lanes are kind of like, if they're pushed up, I'll gank there uh, for these two. And then for this one, Karma versus Yasuo. I, if Yasuo pushes up, then I can. I can go for that. But if not, then it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, yeah, I figured that she would be over here. Can use smite to heal up, and we're doing pretty well. Uh, so basically, I kind of just figured that she was there because uh, it's kind of it's kind of an easy guess. If she already took the bot side, which you can tell because she had uh, she had 12 CS when she showed. Uh, I mean 16 CS because she had started taking this. Um, we know that she's taken these three and that. Um, and since I took red, she can't go for red. So the only thing that's available for her to go for is going to be the golem. So that's where she's most likely going to be. Uh, and since she blew her flash earlier. Um, and we're stronger early. We know that we can uh, try to force an engage as long as we watch mid and watch top lane. And then see if they're rotating to come and uh, come and take us out. And then if they are rotating to come and take us out, we got to head back, obviously. So that was good. Uh, and then that's kind of just knowing what the opponent's most likely going to do. And then uh, using it in your own game gameplay. Like, don't just think about what you're going to do and why. Think about what the enemy's going to do and why. If you can start thinking about, okay, so Evelyn is going to go do the... Oh, shoot. No, oh, okay, nice. Nice. So, uh, Evelyn's gonna go do this. Why is Evelyn gonna go do this? Etc. Um, and that's what's gonna really, really help you out. 
Uh, and then lane, oh, what can they do? What can I do? Can I use this to my advantage? Um, can I use knowing that they're going to use E? So, like, if it's a Vladimir, I know that he's going to pool if I uh, go all in and use a full combo. Uh, can I go all in and use a full combo before he ganks? Uh, you can just kind of think about stuff like that and then be like, okay, I can. Uh, this burned his combo because that my jungler ganked and got a free kill. And then just kind of piece together the things that are working, what's not working, why, why not, etc. Um, and then that'll really help you uh, get to the top of your game. Uh, so right here, just going to chill back a little bit and then head back out. Uh, these are respawning, which means these are going to respawn next. I'm going to head up here. If these are gone, then I can just go up here and take this instead. Um, I didn't end up going for a poacher's dirk, just because I don't feel like I need it too, too much. Um, help me, Snowball. Also, because these she just cleared, so she went through there. So this is going to be where she goes next. Uh, and then after that, it's going to be a little unpredictable. Maybe she'll gank mid. Maybe she'll go for her, um, her golems. I'm not sure. If she just gets him to pool, he dies. Nice. I eat through. Through. Like he threw something. I eat through you. And we're watching Duskblade here to see if we're seen. Nice, we're not seen. wanted to see if we could get something on him. We weren't able to, but that's fine. Uh, the reason that we're not going on it right away is because we want to wait for the um, the caddy to die. See, I'm not... Okay. Oh, he's going ancient coin. Okay. We want to wait for the caddy to die. The reason that we want to wait for it to die is because um, if the caddy dies, then that's going to give us... Um, If the caddy dies, then that's going to give us another set of uh, four Dark Harvest Souls. Which is really, really strong for us. Uh, we can just kill this guy now, though. Always have a backup plan for what to do if your uh, main plan doesn't work. Um, in that case, it was just to go and kill the Yasuo. Um, I was just kind of... That was that was a dual purpose. You can either wait for your ulti and then end up going on Evelyn. Uh, or end up going on Yasuo with your R. Uh, which gets you a stack, or you can just chill there and then kill Eve if she comes, when she comes. Um, or the ideal is that Eve comes, you kill her, then you ulti and kill Yasuo. She did just use her R, though, so that means that we're free to go and take the um, take this Infernal Dragon. Oh. Eh, you don't need to keep going. Okay. Oh gosh, that's super bad. But now I can come over here and... Oh wait, these are still counter chuckles from when I was over here earlier. That uh, feels unlucky, man, for the enemy team. No! I always die making the dumbest plays. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid, dude. Why do I do this? I'm going to buy this, buy this, and buy this. That I have a little bit more survivability. And I can make dumber plays uh, without as much risk. Oh, that's so stupid, though. Why am I doing this? Why do I do this to myself? I'm an inter. Oh, my gosh. I should have art sooner, dude. Oh, look, she is, too, though. So is he. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Oh, no. I think he's got him. It works. It works, boys. Uh, I can actually just go top and kill him 100%. Uh, because he just used his, uh, tornado. I thought that I'd kill him without, uh, having to use an empowered ability, but sadly I did have to use one. Ward there? WTF? Nope, you just get revealed by, uh, Rengar <laughs> Save her! Yes! No! How? Woo! Let's go, dude.
Give me the quad. Oh, unlucky. The quad. <laughs> I was worried, dude. I was like, oh my gosh, I might die. And then I was like, nah, we got it. I just flashed into the bush. Though. Uh, that way I would have uh, a jump spot. Because I know that I can one-shot uh, Tristana, and she's their main source of damage. Um, so if I go into, the, like, if I flash into the bush, and then I get a, uh, a platform to jump onto Tristana from, uh, which allows me to kill her, and then hopefully not die. Then I'll stay and just end it now. I was kind of back in it. I was like, nah, last time I did that, then we just ended the game. Alright, GG, well played, boys. Can I get the plus 50? Nope. <laughs> Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Spent three racks on a new tank. My